Let's see how nasty this country is. I want you to listen to this carefully. Listen to the students and I want you to tell me what you get from it. Checks by Nationwide News disclosed that Battery the 50... Medium. Connected to Galaxy Note 10. Jamaica in 2009. Checks by Nationwide News disclosed that the 51-year-old businessman was deported from the United States to Jamaica in 2009. He was deported after serving time in a U.S. prison. He was convicted for drug running in Brooklyn, New York in 2004. The businessman was issued two firearm licenses by the board of the FLA, a handgun license in 2013 and a shotgun license in 2015. Nationwide News understands that a clearance letter from the personnel who were stationed at the JCS National Intelligence Bureau, NIB, paved the way for the licenses to be issued to the criminal convict. That development has turned the sections of the law enforcement community in Jamaica. Moves are reportedly being made to determine how that letter from the NIB was obtained to enable the reputed criminal operative to obtain licenses to carry two legal firearms. Yesterday, the JCF confirmed that its counter-terrorism and organized crime investigation branch had taken the businessman into custody in connection with the attempted smuggling of 18 illegal handguns and three rifles into Jamaica. The businessman, who's a suspected gun runner, remains in police custody this afternoon under tight security. His apprehension while attending a party in Ocheria St. Anne is considered amongst the most significant arrests by the JCF in recent times as it moves to stem the flow of illegal guns into Jamaica. The businessman is said to be feared in several sections of the island, including the criminal underworld. He is reputedly a senior operative in the 90s gang, which for many years reigned terror in sections of Jamaica and Brooklyn in the United States. He reportedly has influence in Black River St. Elizabeth and has allegedly formed alliances with criminals in Mountain View and sections of East Kingston. The suspect in the attempted illegal importation of 21 guns into Jamaica this year was name dropped in popular gun lyrics voiced several years ago by incarcerated dancehall star Vibes Cartel. The businessman and alleged gun runner is also known in sections of southwest Jamaica as an influential political activist. He also reportedly owns a popular sound system. The man is to be interrogated by police investigators in the coming days. He's expected to be charged for masterminding and conspiring to import 21 illegal guns into Jamaica, contrary to the country's firearms act. The weapons were seized at a port in Kingston on March 4 this year. Wayne Walker, Nationwide News. What a web. What a web this country weaves. He was deported in 2009. He got a clearance letter. Deported in 2009. And he got a clearance letter from the National in um, the National something the Bureau, NIB. He got a clearance letter, Jamaica. Only oh, no, no, Jamaica is not a real place. He got a clearance letter. And people are going to tell me, Andre, don't take up this matter. But I am going to speak tonight. How could a deportee with such a strong criminal background
How could such a man with such a heavy criminal background, National Intelligence Bureau, cleared him? Cleared a known criminal, a known gangster. A known criminal, known gangster. Known criminal, known gangster. The man carried in 21 guns into the island. The man imported 21 guns into the land. The 4th of March, when there was a big gun bus over the wharf. My head I hurt me, Lord Jesus. And I remembered when she and Dallin said, you remember when she and Dallin said, over 300 criminals were given guns, were legally given guns. And you remember when I said to Jamaica, she and Dallin must publish the list. She and Dallin, who is the head of the FLA, should publish the, I can't even go there because my head too tight. So let me just calm down. Do you remember when I asked for Shane Darling to publish the list of the 300 plus Jamaicans who he said have criminal records? You remember and I said Shane Darling, please to publish the list. Of those with the criminal records, see they now one out of 300. So we have 299 more who are not exposed. Publish the list, Jamaicans. The world need to see the kind of nastiness plaguing our country. Criminals with criminal records. How many more criminals? Must be given legal guns to come kill us off. Publish the list. It's not a laughing matter. One man can import 21 guns. Do you know how many of them have contributed to the crime in this country? How many of you... Have lost your sons and daughters because criminals have guns legally through the firearm licenses authority. Which political party is he associated with? Which political party he's associated with? Who gave him that guns or those guns? Look in central Kingston. 30 families were displaced because of gun and gang violence in central Kingston. Which sound system him own? Which sound system he owns? Which political party is affiliated with?
We need the list to be published. We need the list to be published. By the laws of deduction, if he is attached to East Kingston, by the laws of deduction, he is attached to the People's National Party. And by the laws of deduction, he was granted the gun license when the People's National Party was in power. Call ended. He was granted the license when the People's National Party... 2013, 2015 was the time that Portia was in power from 2012 to 26. 2020, 20, 20, 2016. By the laws of natural deduction... This man is associated with the People's National Party. Now you understand why I can't be a part of any of those systems. Because both of them have wronged Jamaica. Both of them have wronged Jamaica. This man. Do you understand what is happening in these areas? It, it needs to stop. <laughs> 